how your emotions change the shape of your heart. Over the course of history, the heart has been a symbol of our emotion lives. It was considered by many to be the seed of the soul, the repository of the emotions. The very word emotion stems in part from the French verb emouvoir, meaning to store up. And perhaps it's only logical that emotions would be linked to an organ characterized by its agitated movement. But what is this link? Is it real or purely metaphorical? Emotions can and do have a direct physical effect on the human heart. But at the beginning, let's talk about a metaphorical heart. The symbolism of the emotional heart endures even today. If we ask people which image they most associate with love, there is no question that the Valentine heart would the top of the list. The heart shape, called a cardioid, is common in nature. It has found in the leaves, flowers, and seeds of many plants, including silphium, which was used for birth control in Middle Ages. And perhaps it's the reason why the heart became associated with romantic love. Or else the reason hearts began to appear in paintings of lovers in the 13th century. Over the time, the heart came to be colored red, the color of blood, a symbol of passion. In the Roman Catholic Church, the heart shape became known as the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Adorned with thorns and emitting a feral light, it became an insignia of monastic love. This association between the heart and love has withstood modernity. When Benny Clark, a retired dentist with end stage heart failure, received the first permanent artificial heart in Utah in 1982, his wife reportedly asked the doctors, Will he still be able to love me? But today we know that the heart is not the source of love or the other emotions. The heart may not originate our feelings, but is highly responsive to them. And so our hearts are extraordinarily sensitive to our emotional system. Second supercardiomyopathy is a reversible cardiomyopathy with a unique morphological feature of the left ventricle characterized by an apical ballooning appearance. Catecholamine drive plays an essential role in the pathogenesis and pathophysiology of the supercardiomyopathy. Hence, it is also called stress cardiomyopathy. It usually appears after a significant stressor, either physical or emotional. When caused by the latter, the condition is sometimes called broken heart syndrome. Supportive and symptomatic medication remains the mainstay therapy with priority to improving the function of the left ventricle for several days and for recovery in three, four weeks. D2, it's similar to this myocardial infarction. The super cardiomyopathy requires careful diagnosis and management for the best possible outcome. The word Tsuba is a container used by the Japanese to catch octopus, which has a circular bottom and narrow neck, which resembles the heart condition in the super cardiomyopathy to a certain degree. As the pictures show, the grooving heart in the middle looks very different than the normal heart on the left. It appears stunned and frequently balanced into the distinctive shape of a takatsuba, shown on the right, a Japanese pot with a white base and a narrow neck. Provoking events and conditions associated with takatsuba cardiomyopathy. To rub physical medical triggers such as an accident, serious illness, severe pain, alcohol, smoking, anxiety, and etc. And also emotional triggers such as natural disaster, public speaking, getting bad news, care accident, unexpected event, and others. Mechanisms. The precise cause of a genesis and pathophysiology of the Katsuba are still uncertain, but many hypotheses have been led to ventricular dysfunction and catecholamine cardiotoxicity. Conditions with high catecholamine levels led to myocyte injury because of calcium leakage. Nevertheless, cardiotoxicity caused significant changes in myocardial features with contraction and necrosis, inflammatory cell infiltration and fibrosis. Risk factors of Takat supercardiomyopathy include estrogen deficiency, emotional or physical stress, genetic factors. Most of the patients with Takat are postmenopausal women. Genetic factors also demonstrated a possible role for Takat occurrence. One study revealed that patients with Takatsuba cardiomyopathy have L41Q polymorphism of the G protein coupled receptor more often than the control group. In addition, Mediterranean and Asian women have a higher susceptibility to this dysfunction. 
In more detail, several emotional or psychological stresses have been known to initiate the onset of the Katsuba cardiomyopathy and the structures that mediate these responsive cysts are found in central and autonomic nervous system. The stresses cause brain activation, elevated cortisol and catecholamine bioavailability. Clinical characteristics. Most common clinical characteristics of patients with the Katsuba are chest pain and dyspnea. More critical clinic Presentations like cardiogenic shock and ventricular fibrillation can also be identified. The clinical characteristics are similar with coronary artery disease, so diagnostic approach to this clinical entity, entity needs to be done meticulously. Treatment. Due to its resemblance to myocardial infarction, first management should focus on the treatment of coronary artery disease. Hence, one of the diagnostic criteria of the Katsuba cardiomyopathy is the exclusion of CAT. Therefore, initial therapy includes oxygen, inhalation, intravenous heparin, aspirin, and B blockers. After excluding CAT and further the confirmation of the Katsuba cardiomyopathy, aspirin can be stopped. In the Katsuba B blocker, usage is reasonable due to possible high catecholamine state. However, its usage should be avoided when coronary vital spasm is expected on first presentation. Hemodynamically unstable patients may need cardiac pulmonary support, continuous venovenous hemofiltration, and intra aortic balloon pump. And in conclusion, I want to say that we must pay more attention to the power and importance of the emotions in taking care of our heart. Thank you for your attention.